star of TLC show The Willis Family, Toby Willis, has been arrested and charged by the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation for raping an underage girl uh, in an event that took place 12 years ago. This uh, show on TLC was actually canceled in April, so fortunately the show will not be going on. Uh, Willis was apprehended in Kentucky where he fled in an attempt to evade arrest. He will be extradited to Tennessee's uh, county jail where he will be held without Bond. Um, let's go to a quote. Willis and his wife Brenda, like Jim, Bob, and Michelle Duggar, are quiverful parents, adherents to a Christian dominionist sect that encourages married couples to produce as many offspring as possible in order to raise an army of believers. Um, they're taking that belief from the Psalm 127, which says, children are a blessing from the Lord. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. Uh, gosh, this story just really, really sucked uh, and unfortunately you know I talked about this a little bit earlier today on pop trigger this is one of three events that has happened on uh, a TLC cast member of one of their reality oh, God, shows we right. had yeah. honey boo boo and then we had the guy from the, the Duggars. Duggars the Duggars <clears throat> yeah. and then now we have this guy from the Willis family I've never seen this show but what sits with me the worst is that I wasn't surprised to hear this news and I want to talk with you guys so a little bit about thing. why that is yeah. Well, you know, look, uh, as a gay guy, I spent most of my adult life being told by, you know, religious and moral leaders, mm -hmm. you know, how despicable I was and how we were all child molesters and blah, blah, blah. And it just seems that the louder that people crow about other people's sexual behavior, it's it's countdown to when they're caught in a restroom mm -hmm. or with their hands on an underage person or something awful like that. And so... Sadly, yes, it's become almost predictable now where these people who present themselves as the kind of moral arbiters, you know, with their Bible back to how they're going to tell you how to live, they've got something shady that they're hiding, and this guy is the latest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we look at a lot of these families uh, with these wholesome values, and that was, that's how the Duggars were as well, and um, there's something, there's a sort of a degree of cynicism that I have when I see these families that are like, look at how wholesome we are, look at uh, how amazing our values, our family values are, and that, it, it makes me feel bad about myself because I wish I could just take them at their word. But unfortunately, time and time again, like you said, Alonzo, we're seeing that there's some seedy underbelly to uh, a lot of these, uh, you know, the arbiters of morals. And it's, it's, and one, of those, morals. it's one of those situations mm. where a lot of people, they, they try to beat it down your throat, beat it down your throat. Their way is the way, this is the way it should be, this is the only way you need to go. And time and time again, you just see this happening over and over and over again. And it's these conservative, you know, Christian families in these rural areas where, you know, the honestly, a lot of times in these situations, the the male that's lead the male lead role in this situation is always like the dictator mm. of that actual area or of that sect. And, and I think historically speaking, the louder that somebody feels the need to proclaim their, you know, morality or just or you know, rightness or whatever, mm -hmm. the more likely they're covering for something. Frankly, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, and you know, you talk about these these people with their with their values. Their values in and of themselves aren't terrible. You know, right. I'm the youngest of seven myself. I think families are great. You know, but I think that that you know, family values as a phrase in this country has become this way of oppressing other people who are, you know, living non-traditional family lives mm -hmm. that are no less valid. And again, I just you know, the 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 bigger brass band you put behind your own superiority in this department, the more you are trying to distract attention from something that you are doing or thinking about doing or have done or want to do. Yeah, and let's talk a little bit about these shows where these people are coming from. Because especially in the case of Honey Boo Boo, that was a train wreck family right. that then, you know, we watched, we tuned in, you everyone was talking about it, and it was sort of like a, an inside joke. We were all sort of laughing at this family and how crazy they were and then when they when the train wreck turned out to be real yeah. when there turned out to be real abuse behind mm. it then we all felt really shitty and to, to an extent I sometimes feel like because I watch some of these reality shows I am complicit in some of this behavior that I am encouraging it's some important. of this behavior because we are tuning in we are giving them essentially those ad dollars right do you think there's something to that I mean, I, I've honestly never watched any of these shows, just for that matter, but I do understand what you're saying, and yeah, that is somewhat of supporting it. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that were watching the Honey Boo Boo stuff, and you can see the people that comment about it and, you know, that kind of lived vicariously through their craziness, 
and using your example and that was a way of supporting you know those type of things and the Duggars and yeah we love them because they didn't said crazy things and yeah. then when they took it a step far yeah. like, oh no 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 but not like not, that not that crazy not, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. not like that I mean at least the one difference there is that that I, there was never any sense of like kind of Bible thumpiness about the honey boo boo folks right, right. whereas the Duggars and I assume these guys I haven't seen this this show either you know if they're if they're in this whole quiverful movement then it's all about how like you know the Lord tells us this is how we have to live and blah 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 and 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 selling that that notion to the world when behind the scenes you know skeevy shit is going down yeah and I think the reason why it's so nauseating this news is because it is a peek behind the curtain that we thought or they at least per perceived um, was uh, wholesome because mm -hmm. look at shows like To Catch a Predator or The First Forty Eight. You know when you're when you're watching those shows, you know that this is bad. Where I'm I'm going into this knowing that this is bad. These people have done bad things and they're going to mm -hmm. get caught in the end. Right. But a lot of the the reason why you know the Duggars and the Willis family why this is so unsettling is because we expected them to be different. But yet, at the same time, we're not surprised when they aren't. No, of course not. I mean, you know, because the Duggars very much threw themselves into the culture wars, and they were out there campaigning for yeah. Rick Santorum. You know, yeah. they they are not they're out there selling this vision of themselves and, and selling a vision of America as they think it ought to be. But again, then you wind up being like. Uh, What's his face? Wide stance in the men's room, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, the Larry Craig, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and 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 so it's it, it's it, it's just a shocking amount of. It's not even shocking. It's just it's an almost expected level of hypocrisy now mm -hmm. for people who have set themselves as being these sort of you know kind of moral spokespersons of for a nation. You know, and I, there are a lot of, and I'm sure there are tons of devout. Christians out there who live great lives who are mortified by the fact that these are the ones that get the headlines. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's definitely important to bring up that there are so many um, wholesome, actual wholesome Christian families who will hear about this news um, and they will, you know, it, it will just be the worst for them because this is not, this isn't, this isn't Christian behavior. Right. You know, this isn't, and, and, and unfortunately, of course, in this article, they bring up that they are a Christian dominionist sect, and there are other, you know, dominionists out there who are totally fine and not raping kids. But of course, right. the, the media in this country will never point to the this guy as an example of what all Christians are like, whereas we can't wait to tar all Muslims based on the, the behavior of a small number of, you know, violent jihadists. Right. You know, but th that same standard never applies to Christianity. We, you know, the, these are bad apples. This is the, but yeah. one one Muslim bomber means it's an entire religion based on nothing but yeah, violence. Yeah, this guy's you know? a bad seed. It doesn't right. mean anything about the religion. Yeah. You power the Young Turks. We do this all through membership. TYTnetwork.com slash join. Let's build a media that we can believe in.